What is up guys? Today I am back with another YouTube video. So guys, today video, today's video, guys, today's video is going to be over relationship advice. So I put it on my Snapchat story, you know, if you guys got any questions about relationship advice, let me know. And uh, I got a good amount of questions uh, just on my Snapchat. So uh, this idea came from Jordan. Uh, that's all I know about her. That's that's her Snapchat. It's Jordan with like, let me check. Jordan with the devil sign and some hearts. Right there. Yeah. But that's her. She gave me the idea and she also gave me a question. So guys, we are going to start with her question. But before you do that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Josh, if you guys are new here. And we're about to get into this video. So, first question from her. She said, if you're talking to someone and you have been for about three or four months, but y'all don't really see each other and the guy works a lot, but you guys don't see each other. What does that mean? Is the person still into you? Should you end it? So let's, that was a big, that was a big little question. So you have been for about three or four months, but y'all don't really see each other. And the guy works a lot, but you guys don't see each other. What does that mean? Is the person still into you? Should you end it? Well, I would talk to that person first. Uh, I don't know if you, you know, sent him a text or called him or tried to, but you probably should do that first. And if you already did do that and he's not texting you back, mm, yeah, that means he's probably not into you, uh, to be honest, three or four months and he's been doing that. Yeah, uh, I would end it if it was in that case. But if it's in different case and this guy's just working so much that he just can't see you at all, then I don't know, I would talk to him. And maybe it's just the best thing to just stop right there and not, you know, not go along with it. Because, I mean, a relationship, you want to see the person, you know, somewhat, no matter if it's twice a week, once a week, I mean, once a week's pushing it. I mean, in a relationship, you want to see the person, like, frequently, you know? So, yeah, uh, I mean, I would end it, but I wouldn't, you know? So, the, so hopefully I answered your question. Let's find the next one. So, how do you deal with someone? Hmm. Doesn't even make sense. Oh my goodness. Okay, don't know if this would be considered relationship wise, but what would you do if she, she, if she, if, the, oh, if the one person you want to be with is any relationship with somebody else and it makes you feel sick to your stomach to be with somebody else. And it makes you feel sick to your stomach to be with somebody. So what would you do if the person, if the person, if the one person you want to be with is in a relationship with somebody else? Uh, I don't know. Um, let's here. Okay, so one person you want to be with is in a relationship with somebody else. So, um. I, get, I mean, I guess I would talk to this person first. I'd be like, okay, so I really have feelings for you. I mean, it's always good to just, you know, throw your feelings out there. You know, you just can't hold them in because then it just hurts worse. So I would uh, throw, throw your feelings at this guy uh, and then, you know, see what happens. But I mean, most likely that guy, however long he's been in the relationship, likes this other girl. So it's like, I mean, 
I don't know if he would drop that girl for you, so I mean, I don't know, but I would just get the feelings out there because, you know, it sucks to hold feelings in. So, uh, I mean, hopefully that answered your question, but like, it's hard to, uh, it's hard for one person to just drop somebody just because you have feelings for them. So I don't know. I don't know what would happen, but I would let my feelings, I would uh, tell that guy my feelings, you know. So hopefully that answered your or that question got answered. Gosh, I can't even talk. Let's look at more. Here's one. How do I get her to like me? How do I get her to like me? I mean, okay, so you, well, first, you just, you just gotta talk to this girl. You gotta talk to her on a regular basis. Uh, you gotta be like, hey, hey, little mama got something to say. I'm about to get it off my chest. You know, just keep, you just keep going. Just don't say it in a rap, though. You know, I just just be like, hey, I don't, I don't know if I would come right out and say I like you, but you should, uh, you should definitely try to talk to that person and then just go from there. You know, you know, might throw a couple catch catch up lines in there. You know, you know what I'm saying? You might dance in front of her or something. You could drop. You know, show her something. But, uh, yeah, just, I don't know, try to smooth talk her or something. Wait, that one, so. So I like this one, I don't know if he likes me back, but he always says me. Okay, so, this one just said, so I like this boy, right? And I don't know if he likes me back, but he always stares at me, so what should I do? Well, if you like him, no matter if he stares at you or not, you should uh, you should you should just try. You know, tell him how you feel. It's 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 not bad to tell someone how you feel, but uh, tell that person how you feel because if he's just staring at you like that, uh, he might have something for you. You know, he might like you. Who knows? Or he just might be staring just to stare. But the only way you're gonna figure out is if you go up to him and uh, ask him, really. So just tell him how you feel and then ask him why he's been staring at you and then maybe he just, he'll come out with it. But uh, y'all can be like, hey, you wanna, you know, wanna hang out, wanna talk or, you know, something like that. And then it could just turn into something more. But who knows, you just gotta ask that a million dollar question, you know? Like, hey, I like you. Uh, I see you've been staring at me. Do you like me? You know, you can kind of, you can approach it a million different ways. So, uh, hopefully that answered your question. How to do... Okay, so, how to deal with a breakup and he still keeps bothering you to go back with him. So, uh, so you all broke up, depending on how long the breakup was. Because I've been with a girl and we broke up and then we got back together. But, uh, but I mean, it de all depends on how you feel on this. Like, if you don't feel like you want to go back with him, so don't go back with him. If you still have feelings for him and you think he deserves another chance, go ahead. But if he's like, like, it all depends on how the relationship ended first. If it ended first like crazy wise like something crazy don't do it but it all do it, it's all it all depends on you really so like so like I've done it before like I've like we've my one of my uh, girlfriends we broke up before and, uh, and then we got back together like probably like I would say like two weeks later and we got back together, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know what your situation is, but I've done it before, so uh, I would say yes, and then I would say no because, I mean, it all—it just all depends on you guys' situation. Like my situation, I, it wasn't really bad. We just uh, kind of needed a break, you know. Kept arguing, and then we got back together, tried it again, and then you know, it ended up didn't work. But. Who knows? You you should probably you should talk to like one of your uh, family members or something, one of your close friends or something like that, and then uh, but and then go from there. But that that's what I think on the uh, on your question.
I'm trying to find another one. Oh. My mom's texting me. She's always in my text messages. Me and my girlfriend just broke up because my mom, my family hated her and she took me away from them. I, was I right for leaving her? Me and my girlfriend just broke up because my family hated her. And she took me away from them. Well, as everybody knows, family's first. And if you have a girlfriend, girlfriend's second. So, uh, no matter if they think that's wrong or not. I mean, but when you get married and stuff, it's, you know, it's, it's different, but it's not. But, uh, I don't think you're wrong for that. Uh, depending on how much, you know, actually it depends on, how, like, how long you've been together, you know? Uh, but, if she's taking away from your family, uh, yeah, I think you did the right thing. Because you can't, come on, you can't take someone away from your family that's your family like i don't know what the uh i don't know what her like objective was from taking away taking you away from that but yeah i think you did the right thing man uh you can't take someone away from your family and uh i mean but i I wonder why, why did your, so I got a couple, like, why did your family hate her and stuff like that? So if it was already bad vibes from the beginning, I don't know, then I think, I don't know, something had to be resolved. But I mean, I think you did the right thing living, leaving her, to be honest. So uh, hopefully that answered your question. But I, th I think it was, I think you did the right thing. Uh, let me do one. I'll do one more. How do you get over someone you've never dated? Okay, how do you get over someone you've never dated? Uh, for one, uh, I don't... You, again, like, so these are a lot of... So you probably got a lot of feelings built up. So if, like, how do you... If you could... If you have, if like, if you have so much feelings for someone and you're trying to get over him and you haven't even dated him or talked to him, then that's, that's, that's a, I don't know, that's, it's kind of crazy. Like, you need to, you need to tell this person how you feel, to be honest. You can't just build it up, build it up like this. Like, I've never really heard this question before, so you need to, uh, you need to let this person how you know and maybe you, maybe something, something can happen out of it, but, uh. How do you get over someone you've ever never dated? I really don't know because I've never been in that been in that situation. But I would definitely go and talk to that person. So, uh, hey, hopefully that answered your question. Uh, it was really a mind boggling question, but uh, hopefully, hopefully that worked. Or you got something out of what I just said. But uh, guys. That was the last question. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the like button, thumbs up to it. Comment what you think about this. If you guys want me to keep, you know, you know, doing like questions like this. Like if you guys got questions, comment down below. Snap me anything. You guys, you got my snap. It's, the, uh, it's in the description down below. Follow all my social media. Underscore Massey19 is my Instagram. Joshua Massey111 is my Snapchat. So, uh. Love you guys so much. I'm done with this video. Peace out.